The NCIS team might have their work cut out for them with naval crimes, but off-camera, there's a different kind of struggle. From cryptic claims of sexism to onset injuries and insane working hours, we're about to prove that it's no easy feat playing an NCIS agent. The Dilemma of Departing Actors Over 19 seasons, NCIS viewers are used to welcoming a new face or two. But did you know that this show has a higher staff turnover rate than it seems? Since the first season, fans have had to say goodbye to a shocking 15 cast members. And that's just for major roles. We'll reveal why they leave in a minute. First, let's focus on how it affects the rest of the cast. When an NCIS actor leaves, they need to be replaced. But it's not always easy to create new storylines. Throw your mind back to the start, when Ziva replaced Caitlin Todd and started an epic romance with Dinozo. It was short-lived. When Cody DePablo left, she was replaced by Emily Wickersham, giving the writers a challenge. How would she fit into the plot? After all, Bishop needed to be as different from Ziva as possible. But there was a hitch. As Michael Weatherly admitted, Emily was too good-looking for that, he explained. They were between a rock and a hard place because they didn't want her to be romantic with anyone, yet they hired a beautiful woman. We've been working to figure out how does the character work best. The extraordinary thing about NCIS is that it's absorbed a lot of changes over its 13 years so far, and it is by no means done. We just had a two-year pickup for the show. Weirdly, they decided to give Bishop a romance plot anyway. Hello, Torres! But that doesn't mean Emily was the only one to face this issue. In fact, when she left, she passed the same problem to Torres, whose own story was interrupted before it got juicy. While we wait to see what's in store for him, Let's go back to why actors keep leaving in the first place. NCIS gives hard work a new meaning. With the star leaving almost every season, many fans wonder what the working conditions are like at NCIS. The answer? It's pretty rough. It's always been that way. In fact, it was the reason for the first ever cast departure. NCIS creator Donald Belisario admitted that Sasha Alexander asked to be written off even though her contract was still valid. Donald revealed, Sasha came in with tears in her eyes and said, I just can't work this hard. We work very long hours, and Sasha didn't feel she was up to that kind of time and commitment. The actress shared more, adding, you make 24 episodes a year. That's 10 and a half months a year, 17 hours a day. It's hardcore. But what about Mark Harmon's fight with the showrunner? Donald left, but the work ethic he insisted on has stayed. Just uh, the other night, Stephen, we were, we were out in Hollywood working late, 9.30 at night. Most of the cast, like 95% of the cast was working. You got a bunch of people there who love their job, and, and there's a responsibility in that, and there has been over a number of years. You work with these people every day, and, and it only works when people want to be there. Hard work is expected from the crew, too. When celebrating their 300th episode, everyone pitched in to help. Our crew guy, uh, Tom Schaefer, in construction, his wife spent three days making all of these cups. Oh my God! Sadly, it's worse now that we're in a pandemic. These days, the cast and crew have to wear masks, socially distance, and have regular tests on top of their heavy workload. But here's where it gets complicated. The long hours aren't the only challenge faced by the cast. Sometimes they struggle with their own colleagues. When co-workers don't deliver. Like any show, NCIS wouldn't be possible without the people we don't see behind the scenes. But having so many people involved in each episode can lead to serious issues. Just ask Cody DePablo. When she left as Ziva, the actress shocked fans, mainly because the reason she gave was so unexpected. Cody explained that her decision was fueled by the writers, who gave her character a bogus storyline. She revealed, Unfortunately, because of the scripts not being good enough, I chose not to continue. I perceived the character was not being treated with the respect that she deserved. Her sudden exit raised some eyebrows, to say the least. David McCallum felt frustrated and angry, saying, I don't understand how a leading lady in a show that's worldwide, who wants to have a career as an actress, suddenly walks away from a gem and vanishes days before we start production. It's not the only instance of behind-the-scenes tensions. Lauren Hawley, who played Gibbs' love interest in the NCIS director, also had an issue with her storyline. She admitted, I got bored with my part of the director. However, the writers weren't the only ones who occasionally made things awkward. Mark Harmon also had a role to play. Just ask Polly Perrette. When the actress behind Abby left the show in 2017, she blamed her co-star and his dog. 
Harmon once brought his dog to set, but instead of being a well-behaved pooch, it attacked a crew member. And while Polly was freaking out about it, she was also scared it would happen to her. In fact, she shared her fears on Twitter, saying, I'm terrified of Harmon and him attacking me. I have nightmares about it. She also hinted that she was bullied on set. Surprisingly, Polly isn't the only actress to admit that things weren't as they seemed off camera. Let's talk about those rumors of sexism. Have you ever wondered why more actresses have left NCIS than actors? So has the internet. The reason? NCIS has been accused of sexism. Okay, actually, one actor got that nasty label. Michael Weatherly. Only, it wasn't until he left NCIS that the truth came out, courtesy of his Bull co-star, Eliza Dushku. After Eliza lodged formal complaints about Michael's inappropriate behavior, she launched and won a $9.5 million lawsuit. Later, Michael's NCIS co-stars, including Polly and Sasha, defended the actor. Although the internet is not convinced, Reddit users have hinted that so many actresses leave the show because Michael is exactly as bad as Eliza suggested. Sadly, we have no way of knowing for sure. Michael isn't the only one whose behavior made headlines. When Wilmer joined the cast in 2016, media called him a player and womanizer, and some outlets suggested that that could cause issues with his female co-stars. Thankfully, they were wrong. Wilmer's happily engaged to his baby mama. But it makes us wonder if there's any truth to the rumors. Okay, there's only so many challenges that can be blamed on the cast and crew. We also need to credit other aspects of the show, like its rigorous training schedule. You need to know what you're doing. With the cast of formal naval officers, medical professionals, and the occasional lawyer, there's definitely no lack of smarts on the NCIS team. But in order to realistically convince viewers, it means hard work for the actors in various disciplines. Take David McCallum, for example. To play Ducky, the actor took a crash course in anatomy and autopsies. Literally. The actor admitted that he studied with a Los Angeles coroner until he was able to take part in real autopsies by himself. So the medical part of what you see on screen is due to some pretty intense and gory study. Although not everyone had to put in extra work, Polly Perrette actually had a degree in criminology before she landed the part of the lab geek, making her perfect for the part. She even helped her successor prepare for the role. When Diana Reasonover was cast as the team's newest lab rat, she asked Polly for some tips, and Polly delivered. But this actress has another weapon. Her real-life sister is a doctor, so whenever Diona gets stuck, she can call for help. Of course, the nerds are the smallest contingent in this show. The real action is saved for the officers, which means stunt training for the actors. Thankfully, it helps if you have a military background like Mark Harmon. Not only does this help the actor look the part, but it's prepared him for the physical aspects of stunt work and action sequences because Mark does most of the work himself. As the show stunt coordinator, Diamond Farnsworth revealed, Mark does a lot of fights, and he's very good at them. So that's what makes it exciting. When you can tell that's not a double, it makes it exciting to see an actor do his own stuff. Mark's not alone. Wilmer and Cody also earned reputations for doing their own stunts, even if that means there's a risk of injury. The truth is you're always going to get bumps and bruises. As long as you're not you know, completely hurt, you don't break a toe, you don't break something along the way, then you're fine. Unless you know what you're doing. Wilmer told TV Guide, The only thing I don't do is motorcycle stuff because it scares my mom. I love doing my own stunts. I've been doing mixed martial arts for a long time. Speaking of a long time, we've reached the final and possibly most important challenge to the NCIS cast. The Gibbs legacy is tough to follow. After 19 years of portraying Leroy Jethro Gibbs, Mark Harmon has finally left the main cast. But while we're sure to see him again as a guest star, his exit has caused a lot of drama. His former colleagues are nervous that his departure may signal something bigger, as he's been the face of the franchise for two decades. That's why showrunner Steven Binder revealed a secret. He said, Mark continues to be an integral part of the fabric of the show. So regarding the future of Gibbs, never count Leroy Jethro Gibbs out. However, numbers don't lie. And for NCIS, it's not looking too good. In season 18, which was Mark's last season as a main cast member, the naval show averaged around 9.5 million views an episode. Once Gibbs said he wasn't coming back, the rating dipped to an average of 7.5 million views an episode. 
Sure, new characters were cast to make up for the missing leading man, but only time will tell what effect that has on fans. Hopefully, the future of this show will be as successful as it is drama-free. For more NCIS details, check out our other videos about the hit show. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay awesome!